I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Well, welcome. Jimmy, what, oh. Hey. Hey. Uh, I want to teach some moves to some motherfucking peeps. You know what I'm saying? Wait, is this the third episode we've done today, or the or the fourth? I want to teach you. Something. No, I was good. Okay. This is the fourth episode. This is the fourth. Yes. Okay, so as of this is the hundred and ninth episode, right? I think it is. I think as of now, this is the longest running fucking series ever on Game Grumps. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, can I? Yeah. Kevin, can I get a single balloon floating down from the top of the floating screen? Down? Like one of those, like, <laughs> one of those fucking, like, tin balloons that's like... Yeah. <coughs> God damn it! Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. I do. Uh, do you think John's gonna be sad? That he no longer holds the record? Probably. No, he'll be fine. No. He loves it. What's up, Johnny boy? We love you, girl. Hey, baby. How you doing? Mm. Give, me, give, me, give, me mm, give me some of your sweet sexy. Hey, stop. stop. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, got, I got it. Yeah, I got. I got carried away. That's there. for me. But yeah, can't have that for anyone else but me. Much respect to Sonic 06, but holy shit, Pokemon Fire Red. I feel it. I feel. I feel the love now. God, we've been doing this a long fucking time. I can't. Jesus I can't Christmas. Handle. Whoa, Mr. Mark can learn Blizzard? What? Where? What? Oh, I kind of want to give it to him. But give I'm it to him. To Blue Blue Yo, I'm gonna stick it to Blue Bull, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, he's stick a bird, you can't. You what? mustn't. Uh, <laughs> don't stick it to anything living, please. I'll stick it to you. No, specifically not me. Alright, fine. Although we were about to watch the trailer for Stick It. What the oh, hell? Shit. Yeah, <laughs> that is That's weird. Right, we were. That 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 was automatically coming up after we watched the Kazam trailer. Oh my god. What, what did you think? Uh, I think uh, Shaq uh, made a really good career move. <laughs> <laughs> With Kazam. With Kazam. I think that. Uh, okay. I I don't. I think that was a huge hit. Kazam. I wouldn't be surprised. Cause it's, it's mostly for kids, and like it featured. Like, Shaq came into the league, what, like, 94? So, like, at nine, in 97, he was, like, at the height of his basketball powers. Mm. So, like, I, I could see where, like, him being in a ridiculous movie would be okay, because it's, like, the most famous basketball player in the world being ridiculous. It'd be like LeBron James now. But huh. that would be re- it, Well, it was the perfect time. Are you sure you can handle this level three Rattata? I gotta run. <laughs> 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 I gotta get the fuck out of here! Yeah. Oh boy. It's it was the perfect time too, because that was the that, I don't know, the nineties were such a like silly time. Yeah, although it the eighties were an even sillier time. That's so true. like the nineties, I remember in the nineties, things felt like they were getting darker than they'd ever been and yeah. like more cutting edge than they'd ever been. Now when you watch it, it's goofy as shit, but like I don't know. At the time, like, like 1997, like, Prodigy had released, like, Smack My Bitch Up. Oh, God. And people were like, oh, my God, Smack My Bitch Up. That's just the kind of thing that happens nowadays in the 90s. <laughs> you know? And now it's like, that's barely even music. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that happens in the 90s. Now people are shooting up heroin. Yeah. And fucking... Directly into their eyeballs. As music. <laughs> like this. <laughs> That's when you buy an album, they're like, all right, here's your song. Hey, you want to hear some music? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god, there's Pokemon here to catch? That's a Psyduck. <laughs> Psyduck is like, what am I doing here? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I took the wrong turn in Albuquerque! Oh, man. No, I don't want to bag it. God, those Looney Tunes taking a wrong turn at Albuquerque. I remember when I found out that Albuquerque actually was a real place. I was like, oh, I have to go there. And I never did. And my interest in the whole thing has waned. I think when you <laughs> I think when you take Route 66, you do pass through Albuquerque. Route 66 is amazingly long. Or er, no, no, it's the the 10. Maybe. 
um, I think you do pass through Albuquerque. Wait, the same 10 that like runs through LA? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, it goes like all the way across the nation. That's crazy. Um, I think I took the 10 for like hundreds of miles to, to get here when I moved here. That's... From Florida. Oh shit, you drove out here? Mm-hmm. Twice. Wow. Yeah. I've never done it. I've Once. never been able to make it all the way through the United States. Oh, dude, it's- it's relentless. There's some boring fucking stretches. I did it once with my dad, and I did it once with Susie. No shit. And the one with Susie was cool, cause, um, we- we figured out a cool way to pass the time. <laughs> Your dad's gonna be bummed out. What? Like, I went cross country with my dad, and I went cross country with Susie. The one with Susie was cool. And your dad's like, oh. No, the one with my dad was awesome, but I was, <laughs> there's there's not much anecdotal stuff about that. I was just right. I was just having a good time with my dad. But the the thing with Susie was, um, in order to sort of occupy ourselves, uh, we 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 sort of did like um, analog audiobooks. Like the person who wasn't driving would read the book out loud. <laughs> And That's funny. It was really fun. It's like story time. Yeah, it was it was it was nice. I have not wow. I just realized it, it no one's read me a story in like I don't know, 25 years. You never heard an audiobook? No. Oh dude. But like It's the best. It just it just made me sad. I was like my mom used to read me stories all the time. I'll read you a story. Dude, my mom used to read me this one story that, like, I memorized, and one night I was like, Let me tell it to you! She was like, what? And I, like, spouted the whole thing word for word, she was like, I think I need to buy you new books. <laughs> Dude, if we ever take a really long road trip and you're driving, I'll fucking read you a book. That'd be wonderful. I still- I- I don't remember what the hell the book was about or anything, I just remember it started, like, Tucked snugly beneath the forest leaves or something <laughs> something like that. Oh, I have to push the rock on the button. Oh, you crazy bastard. Obviously. Um... I can remember the tucked, tucked snugly. Oh! That's gotta be, like, the name of one of our characters. Like, T-U-K-T, -T, first name, and then snugly as the last name. Tucked snugly. What's up, I'm tucked snugly. I'm tucked. Tucked snugly. <laughs> this is my friend. Fucked Bugly. Yeah, I still remember the first fucking like, uh, I, I remember the first four words of my bar mitzvah thing oh, yeah. that I had to like sing. Oh god. What is? What were they? Uh, it's not gonna sound good with this song, but it's like. That's all I remember. Really. And but I mean like, my my Torah passage like they. You know what the Torah is, right? Yeah, that's like the Jewish Bible. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Um... I need to put on a rappel right the fuck now. Yeah, all these Jews around. <laughs> <laughs> um... Telling all these Jewy stories, I but, gotta fucking... Yeah, man, like the Torah... on my mouth guard. It's in these... it's... it's these sacred scrolls, basically. It's the Torah written on scrolls. Yeah. And like, they're very protected, and like, they put coverings over them, and they'll have like... A, a silver like crown on certain ones of them, and they're all different crowns. Jesus, and they're cool. and they're behind a curtain too. So when I would go to temple as a little kid, the curtain would be closed all what? the time. Damn, they are raring to go. I just put a fucking max repel. <laughs> and they they'd pull the curtain back, and you'd see them. And it was like the I remember like the first time. And I'm not a religious person, but like I remember like seeing them in a, as a kid and being like, wow, like. Like reverence, you know, like uh -huh. they just look like really important. Um, Wait, so they're like somewhere. Oh, every every temple has a Torah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's 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 essentially the Hebrew Bible, but like written by hand by rabbis, like and blessed, you know, like it's super sacred. And in medieval times, it, it would take like. It, your, your life was like transcribing that shit. Damn. Um, yeah, so it was That's intense. Bad. That's some fucking like fantasy shit. It's very interesting, man. Like it's it's an old old religion. Um, it I think it I think it's the first monotheistic religion. Maybe not. It's one of the first, certainly. Um, any anywho. Uh, oh, I yeah. see. I yeah. see your game. Yeah. So, what a bar mitzvah is, is, uh, that's the rite of passage when you're 13, and you have to memorize, basically, and read and sing in a certain way, a passage from the Torah. And it's just like, 
I don't know what the selection process is. Oh, Persian. Mm, oh, Persian just looks like a, like the kind of animal that would make lots of like the fucking like purr puns. Like, what a perfectly good <laughs> night for a Pokemon battle. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I'll just finish that super fast. Like, the the part of the Torah that I had to read was like the second longest that you can be assigned. <laughs> So I, like, I just had to study it with my mom for like months and months and months. And I had to do it in Israel too. Oh god. Yeah, in front of like all these like super elderly Jewish guys that like were like old school Israeli. And they like, you could hear like the murmurs when like they found out like that a kid from America who didn't speak Hebrew was gonna be doing it and like... It, it was really cool cause I, I did it, I did it well and um... My my granddad on my Israeli side, who I never really knew that well, like that was the one time he, I he was really really proud of me. Aww. Yeah, and he was like he was very moved. You could see, because he he was like a Holocaust survivor. So to like see his grandson from another part of the world like maintain the traditions that he almost died for, you know, like it was a big deal for him. Damn dude. I know. Th this this got heavier than I meant it to, but like. Um, uh, well, I don't even know where I was going with it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was just that like, after it was over, I like almost fainted, like walking out of the temple, because I was like, I didn't realize it, but I was so nervous and like, I guess I was too nervous to eat and everything. And as soon as it was over, like my body just like shut down. Jesus. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a crazy experience. But you only gotta do that shit once. Whoops. Oh, Mr. Mart. That's kinda how I felt when I danced in front of Joey Fatone of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sacred rite of, of uh, traditional Jewish passage and dancing for Joey Fat One. <laughs> Probably about the same. <laughs> on an internet show. <laughs> Next time on Game <laughs> What did he say? Did he like your dancing? Yeah, I mean, I won the competition. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. And they said I was, I was great. And uh, oh, I feel bad. I, I, I always forget her name. Maxine. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. She's like Marianne one of our Gibson, good friends. The, the like the producer of the show. Right. Who is like the Simon Cowell sort of? Oh, sure. Um, she was like the mean one. Yeah. Right. She's like the serious dancer. Right. Um, she was like, "You're even a little sexy up there." And I was like, <gasps> "I was like, damn!" Yeah. I'm like fucking like, oh shit! I had my posse backing me yeah. up. Like, oh my god! Did you did you did you come home to Susie and be like, "Did you hear Did you hear what Joey Fatone said?" About me? <laughs> 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 See you later. Sorry, I I I, I laugh farted. <laughs> How is that any different than the normal farts, which you rip in a constant stream? <laughs> <laughs>